then, hello YouTube, once again, Gaming Llama here, back with more good Fez grindiness playthrough stuff. So last time we go, we got this room, and we're gonna keep on continuing with the walkthrough, so... Yeah, that I'm following. It's funny, because this was supposed to be a blind playthrough of Fez, and now I'm looking up a walkthrough for it. Anyway, so... Temple Cave. I don't know which part of the map this is supposed to be on, because it doesn't show the picture, but I'm gonna guess it's gonna be, uh, this part of the map, because that's what it looks like. And I think you get to that by going through this door right here. Something just moved on my desk. It was probably just the controller. I probably just, uh, moved it. If not, though, you just heard audio of a real-life haunting, so... That's cool. Actually, you know what? Uh, just so I'm not just narrating what I'm doing on Fez here, I want to talk about a weird experience I had one time. It was actually kind of recently. It was a little bit before I left for my trip. But uh, basically what happened is I was lying asleep in bed, or I was like falling asleep, right? I wasn't completely asleep yet. And uh, I literally just heard a bunch of papers that I have like on the side of my desk. I heard them all fall off on the floor. And I was like, ugh, I don't want to deal with this. I was thinking to myself, what is this? Did a ghost move them or something? Because they're like, they're like not close to the edge. They're like, you know, firmly on there. So uh, anyway, gotta do the code. Left, left, down, down. Actually, no, I'm gonna do this with the controller. Anyway, but uh, while I'm talking, I uh. There we go. Okay. Anyway, I was like, what is this? A ghost or something? Like, I wasn't freaked out. I was just like, you know what my main thought was? I literally just thought to myself, man, not now. I'm, I'm too tired to be haunted right now. Anyway, so, uh, I got up and I went over, or like, after a few minutes of just lying there, not wanting to do anything, I just thought to myself, fine, I'll check. So I got up to go do the, uh, to go check the thing. Like, I got up, turned on the light, looked at my desk, but the weird thing was, right, I heard them all fall off, so you'd think that they'd all be on the floor, but they weren't. They, nothing had moved them, they were exactly where they were. And I started looking around, like, I was like, did something else fall on the floor? Was there anything else that was there? And, like, that there was nothing. Nothing had moved, nothing had fallen on the floor, because it sounded like a bunch of stuff fell into my trash can, but it, it didn't. Nothing had moved. It was so weird. Like, because if you heard something like that and you thought it was a ghost, you'd at least think something would have moved, right? But no, nothing, nothing moved. It was the weirdest fucking thing. Anyway, okay, so back to the next door. We're at the Ruins of Zoo Hub. This place should seem familiar, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so it says there's a QR room, but we already have everything there, so we're gonna go straight to... Well, it wants to go to the observatory next, but we also have everything there, so... Mm, the temple. Okay, we do not have everything there, so we gotta head towards the observatory, and then go to the temple. Yeah. And... did we get everything? We didn't get everything here, there's a chest here. Hold on. I'm trying to see if it talked about that chest. Uh, yeah, it says that they got the chest, so... Okay, I guess we gotta go back and get a chest that I didn't see for some reason. Watch it be in the most stupidly obvious place possible. That's the thing, I feel like when I go on, like, when I make these videos, that I should at least have something to talk about so it's not so boring. Like, some days I'm on it, I'm just like, yeah, funny stuff, ha ha ha, great, great jokes, all that good stuff, but, uh, you know, today, just, not, not really, not really. I'm not feeling the good commentary. That's probably just because I'm not really, like, trying to do good commentary stuff, I'm just trying to, like, kind of get through the episode. Oh, yeah, there is the chest there. Okay, wondering if I can do the flying glitch. I cannot do the flying glitch anymore. Okay. So... Is 
It says, it doesn't say anything about a chest here. So apparently they already got a chest here, and I'm just missing this somehow. Okay, was this like somewhere else in the gameplay or whatever? I don't, I don't see the thing that talks about the chest here. Okay, well, I don't want to just leave and come back to the chest later, but I don't know. At this point, I may not have much of a choice because I don't see the guide saying anything about it, and I don't want to, like, read through all of it again now. So, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to I'm gonna head back through to here, and then we can worry about that chest later. So that's what I'm going to do for now. Jump, 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 jump. Ah, I need to get back up here. Dang it. Okay, so we gotta go up here. We gotta rotate. Jump on the tree. Rotate again. Careful jump angle. Another careful jump angle. Drop down to the ledge. Rotate around and up. There we go. I got this down. Or, oh no, wait, no, we don't want to go through here. We want to go to the, uh... Dang it, we want to go to the door here. There's no black holes now. That's cool. Okay, I see what I don't get. I feel like this is another Easter egg thing that I'm going to figure out later, but... That statue, it's got the little symbol that has the one-way door thing on it that you kind of access to the game. But it's only one high, it's not on the ground, so you can't go through it. I don't know, I'm just, just, uh... Just, just wondering, but... That's going to be something later, I bet. Soon. Soon it will be. Okay. So, we go to the observatory and then the temple. Let me, uh... Jump up here. Okay, now where's the observatory? <sighs> oh, I'm getting kind of tired. Alright, that's what I get for recording this at 11 at night. Is that the observatory? I think that is. Unless this is. Is there anything between... No, okay, so if I see the door to the observatory, I'm gonna know it, because it's gonna show me that's the door. I think this is the right way. No? Really? I see the observatory back there. Maybe it is, I'm just not seeing it. Nope, that's definitely not the right way. Okay, so where's the door to the observatory? What the shit? Where's the observatory? Whoa. Uh, I'm gonna try one of the doors down here, maybe. That takes me to the throne. That takes me to somewhere. That takes me to that room, which is all crazy and stuff. I don't think that door takes me to the observatory, does it? Let's see. Um, does this one take me to the observatory? No, that's the one that I just checked that didn't take me to the observatory. Does this one take me to the observatory? It's not gonna show me what it takes me to. Gonna head through it and cross my fingers? That did not take me to where I wanted to go. Or wait, maybe, maybe this does take me, maybe this takes me directly to the temple, let's see. Where am I now? That does not take me to the temple, okay. So we want to go to a different door. I know that doesn't take me to the observatory. Oh no, that takes me to a big QR room, which... Oh wait, hold on. I think I already got this? Let me double check. Yeah, I, I already got this. I like that this game incorporates QR codes into it. I think that's pretty cool, because, you know, I feel like a lot of people don't have QR scanners, and although it's, like, a cool thing, it's like, oh, it's a mysterious code, what's behind this, you know? It's like, I feel like not many people have them, which is kind of kind of sad, because I think it's a cool system. But whatever. Okay, so how do I get to the observatory? Which door do I take? That's my biggest problem in this game, is that I don't know where the games are. Okay, let me, let me see if it tells me which door to go through. 
uh, QR code room. I honestly have no idea what this is for. Somebody please comment. Oh, they don't know what it's for. Uh, maybe I should go back to it then, because I know that with the QR code rooms, you don't actually have to get the thing in the room. It's pretty much just, oh, good job, you got the, you found the QR code. Good job on that. Let me find it again. What's in this room? I'm curious what's in this room. Nothing important for now. Uh, now, now I can't find the dang QR code room. See, this is what I'm saying. I can't find any of the doors in this place. I can find none of the doors. De nada, zero. Was it the, uh, was it the... <sighs> Frick, where was it? Was it this one? No. Of course, I can only find the door when I'm not trying to. Was it this one? No. Was it this one? No. Was it? Wasn't this one? Not this one. Was it this one? No, it wasn't that one either. Was it this one? Please be this one. Yes, here it goes, this one. Okay. So apparently the person writing the guide doesn't know what this is for. I'm gonna see if I can't figure out what it is for. Fez mystery. Oh, that's the problem. I'm like in the way of the QR code. Let me scooch out of the way there. Uh, okay, well it's another right turn, left turn thing, so... Right turn, right turn, left turn, right turn, left turn, left turn, left turn, right turn. That didn't give me anything. Right turn, right turn, left turn, right turn, left turn, left turn, left turn, right turn. Huh. Okay, either there's an anti-cube in this room and it doesn't, I already got it, or it just doesn't do anything. I don't know. Anyway. Okay, then it says, enter the island door at the bottom of the area. Oh, that must be how to get to the observatory. See, I should, I should read these more carefully, because then I know... Which doors to go through? C come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. Okay, now we're at the observatory. Whew. That was a pain in the ass. Um, Alright, let's see here. Oh, right, this is the thing that pulls out the bodies. Go, 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 go. Go, Gomez, go. You can do it, Gomez. I believe in you. Yeah. There we go. And then we can go up again. There we go. Okay. I like how it kind of sounds like a beat. I'm, I'm derping on my beatboxing. Raise you up again. That's totally a kick ass beat right there. Is what that is. Okay. Uh. Okay, so it says halfway up is another door, and that's the door that takes you to the temple. Oh, oh. So we're gonna want to go. Yeah, here we go, this is the temple. Okay, we're finally at the temple. Gotta watch the time on this too, we're at 14 minutes. Just make sure this is the temple. Okay, this is the temple. Owl alert, wait until nighttime, talk to the owl that lands here. This is the fourth and last owl. I can't tell if it's morning or nighttime. I think it's nighttime, because it looks like it's getting darker, but I could be wrong. No, I fell. If it is, I don't know where the owl is, though. I'm gonna guess on this tree, just because that's where it always is, but... On trees, but... I don't know, I could be wrong. Let's check. Yeah, I don't know where I'm going. 
Oh, I died. Okay, so it's night time, but I don't see the owl. So I don't know where it's supposed to be. I'm gonna climb up here and see if I can't find it. It's been conveniently nighttime when I need it to be. Oh no! Double try that again. Yes, double try that again. That's a thing people say. Okay, one more try with this. I bet the owl. Oh, yep, it's up on that tree. Okay. Oh no, no! Oh, dang it. That's. Okay, one more try. I, I swear I'll get this before that time is over. Gotta climb up to here. Jump over to here. Oh, I see. Now I have to go around. Oh no, it's getting to morning. Shoot, the owl's gonna go away. Well, how do, how do I get up there? Oh, do I have to wait for it to unshuffle? I feel like that's probably it. Oh no. The owl's gonna fly away. Don't fly away from me, owl. I need you. Eh. I'm coming for you. Dang it. Don't fly away yet. Eh. The 13 circles. The 64-bit name of God. Alright. Cool, we did it. We got the owl. Still not everything at the temple area, but whatever. Okay, so now we need to go to the... Enter the door embedded in the tree. Gotcha. This one. This is a very helpful guide, I must say. I've gotten a lot done since then. Okay. Oh, right. This room where I couldn't figure out what the dang thing meant. Oh, it's another code, isn't it? It's showing me another code. Oh, no, I feel stupid. Okay. Up, A, right trigger, left trigger, A, down, left trigger, right trigger. Anti-cube. Nope, I missed it. That would have been perfect, but I missed it. Anti-cube. Sweet, we got everything here. Frickle. Frickle frackle. See, I think if I actually knew what the code was saying and what the Fez language was, I could figure it out, but... Okay, now what? Go back outside and enter the temple. Nothing here, go to the next door. Oh, this is the room where you get the artifact. We already have that. Okay, oh, but there's some codes and stuff, okay. So, we do have to go through the temple. Into the temple! Okay. Uh, it says there is nothing in this room. Or way, hold on. Go back outside and climb the top of the temple for a cube. Use the blocks with eyes on them. When they line up, they close together. Go back to the observatory. Climb to the top, collecting the bits along the way into the door. Oh, okay, so we need to go to the telescope room, so we already got everything here. We actually did already get it from there. And then these blocks, I'm pretty sure... Yeah, we already got everything, so we gotta go back to the observatory. Which we can do by climbing down the vines. Oh no, that's too far. Dang it. Okay, so we can drop... Um, hopefully get down from here. There we go. We landed that one. And then hop back to... Dang it. Hop back to the observatory. There we go. Okay, we made it back. So now we gotta get up to the top of the observatory. Oh boy. Well, at least we're not, like, at least we're not starting back down from the bottom. I think that's probably the good thing is that we don't have to start back down from the bottom. Alrighty then, we made it up. So now we go to the telescope room. And it apparently has one of the hardest puzzles in the game. So I'm hoping we get a red cube for this. Because hardest puzzle in the game sounds like it's worthy of a red cube. 
Also, I'm honestly a little scared of what the puzzle might be, considering that uh, all the other puzzles in this game have been so difficult already. Okay. The Tetris codes are in the sky, you can see with the telescope. Oh, okay. That's what the telescope is for, so alright. I was trying to figure that out, it's like, what does this do? That's the thing, is that in this game, it's not like you look at a thing to figure out what, uh... Like, you don't actually use the telescope itself to do the code input. You use the, uh... You just use it to look at what the hint is, so... Right, right trigger, le oh, I already messed up, okay. Right, right trigger, left, right trigger, right trigger, A, A, right. Got my anti-cube, I don't see it. Oh, there it is, it's up there. See, it used to be the anti-cubes were like, oh, it's so hard to find them. Now we're just like, Phew, getting them left and right. Then again, we are looking at a guide, but still. Alright, got another anti-cube. There are two stars that blink in a certain pattern that translates to a binary code that translates into the code. Holy shit. Okay, then. Apparently, the code translated, which even the person in the guide had to look it up. Right turn, left turn, left turn, right turn, right turn, left turn. This code reveals the final red cube. Holy shit. Last red cube. Are they all gonna do something now that I found all three? You found, uh, what is this? I don't even... Well, it doesn't even show me in my inventory. Like, I... I feel like... Oh, no, that's sunglasses, man. I feel like if I get something this magical, it should go in my inventory somewhere. But I guess the game really just doesn't want you to know about these things. Because apparently not even your guide has, like, vague memories of, Oh, I forgot, it's just... Okay, yep, I've got no clue what this is. You're on your own, kid! Good luck! Okay. Well, I've been doing this for about 20-ish minutes now, so I guess now may not be a bad time to end this episode. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Leave a like, subscribe, that kind of good stuff, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.